In today's video, I will teach you how to select multiple or all layers in GIMP. Let's get started. Handling layers is a crucial aspect of advanced editing projects, providing organization and separation of image elements. However, GIMP's layer system can be confusing, particularly for those accustomed to Photoshop's approach as GIMP doesn't allow the selection of multiple layers simultaneously. Despite this limitation, you can still apply transforms to multiple layers. Transform operations such as scaling, rotating, or moving can be applied to linked layers. Unfortunately, other edits like contrast adjustments or filters cannot be applied to multiple layers at once. Here are some tips and tricks to navigate GIMP's layer system. The first one is layer linking. To apply transform operations to multiple layers, link them in the Layers panel. To do this, click in the gap beside each layer in the Layers panel to reveal a chain-like icon, indicating that the layers are linked. Alternatively, double-click the layer thumbnail, then go to Layer Attributes, and select Linked. The second one is grouping layers. Layer grouping offers more flexibility in organizing layers. Create a layer group by using the new folder icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Layers within the group can be moved collectively, and transformation operations applied to the group affect all layers within. However, layer groups have limitations, as layers within groups move through the hierarchy together. A bonus tip is scripted semi-solution. A workaround involves using a script, such as OFN layer tools hosted by SourceForge. The script copies layers into a new document, arranges them side by side on one layer for editing, and then splits the composite layer back into the original layers. But be cautious, as this method may not work in all situations, especially when filters and edits rely on surrounding contents for their effects. While GIMP's layer system may have its challenges, mastering these techniques can help optimize your workflow and enhance your ability to work on complex composites. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.